What are you saying, man? How you doing? It's my guy, Archie. My guy. How are you doing? Are you good? I'm good to see you, man. Good to see you, Oh, Dot, Tom. Oh, yeah. yeah. How have you been? How are you doing, man? How are you okay? Yeah. I'm all good, man. Feeling fresh? Mr. Emil Smith Rowe. <laughs> How are you doing, brother? I'm good, man. How are Arsenal you? all or nothing, Doc. Yeah. Listen, that's why we're here. I want to say thank you for sitting down with us. Croydon Inside. Let's get that <laughs> right, OK? Bro, when you're watching this documentary, yeah, obviously, there's a lot of feeling, you know, like when you look at it yourself, the finished product, what did you think of it? I'm excited, mm -hmm. to be honest. I think, you know, it was obviously something new for all of us to go through mm -hmm. during the season, you know, the good and bad times, but yeah, now nah, we're all buzzing to watch it, so yeah. Yeah, so when you look at your upbringing, right, did you ever think you will be <laughs> in documentaries, let alone playing for Arsenal? <laughs> Definitely not, man, you know. I think all these surprises just keep coming, you know. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's just good to be involved with something like this. Obviously, I've watched a couple other clubs, documentaries and stuff, yeah. which have been fun to watch. So yeah, yeah I can't wait, yeah. I want to bring it back to where you're from. I keep saying South London, credit, <laughs> because yeah. where you come, where you, when you're from where we're from, it's amazing to see the growth. And we, we pinpoint people who have done successful things, yeah. i.e. when you look at legends in South London, whether it be a Ian Wright, whether it be a Rio Ferdinand, whether yeah. it be whoever it is, we look at those people. You know, how did it start for you very quickly and how did you end up at Arsenal? Yeah, so obviously I was raised in Croydon, like you said, with my mum mm -hmm. and my dad and my big brother. And yeah, I've just always wanted to play football, really. Mm -hmm. You know, since a young age, I've been playing my dad and my brother in the garden, you know, mm -hmm. going over to the park, just stuff like that, really. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, just playing in school with my friends growing up. And then, yeah, obviously I signed for Arsenal when I was nine. Yeah. And then, yeah. You relocated, didn't it? Yeah. To so, North, the sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously at nine, um, it was quite hard to keep like traveling over to the training ground mm -hmm. after school. You know, my mom and dad would have to leave work early and stuff. So I think around maybe 14, 15, I, I uh, came over to Hertfordshire. Mm -hmm. um, I had family over here ready as well. So it was just easier for everyone to be fair. So yeah. At that age, who's shining <laughs> that we know? Who is shining? Who's performing? Oh, 14 or nine? 14. Fourteens, Rhys Nelson was the standout. Like seriously, mm -hmm. he was the one in my age group. Anyway, mm. that was like yeah, the things he used to do. In the game. Crazy, <laughs> you just couldn't believe it sometimes. But um, yeah, I'd have to say him. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I see him recently as well. He's put on the weight. Isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's been, looking strong. He's, he's looking sharp. Beefy. So, yeah, nice. No, he's, yeah. he's a good guy, man. And also now, obviously, the squad is getting competitive. What's the mindset that you? go to training with you know obviously they're your teammates friends yeah. we've all got one goal but what are you thinking when you step out on the training pitch I think just to give give everything on the pitch you know because at the end of the day you got to train well to, to play you know mm -hmm. um, and like you said you know we're all friends off the pitch we're all really close but you know at the end of the day only 11 players can start a game mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so yeah you just got to keep working hard and the competition is good you know it pushes mm -hmm. everyone we all push each other in training so yeah, it's really competitive sometimes. Who's impressing you the most? Because obviously, technically, sometimes you come back one summer, you might be like, oh, he's better at that than he, yeah. he was last year. Are there things that you've seen during the pre-season period and you go, oh, he's good now at that? Um, I think I already know. The players who have come back, who I've known from last season, you know, I already know how good they are and stuff. Mm. So it's not mm. a surprise to see how well everyone mm. else is doing. But from the new players, I think Gabriel Jesus. I didn't actually realise. Sharp in it. I didn't realise how sharp he was, you know. Same here. Obviously playing against him is different and you know, you see like watching Man City and stuff before, but when you actually see him and training It's mad. Like and I'm I was telling my friends as well, they always ask you on the same yeah, he's ridiculous. <laughs> I see him in the States because I was watching on tour and I see him do like some turns that he'll get the ball, turn yeah, it, run yeah, at the yeah, defenders. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> at full Full speed, by the way. I know, I know. It's, you a, know? Difficult, it's a difficult trait, but he's you know? got it, man. man. And I'm starting to see there's a there's a technical ability, like, across. Like, when I mean t technical, I mean techie, all right? <laughs> For you guys watching, techie, <laughs> techie. all right? Because I'm seeing you've got Zinchenko over yeah. there. Do you know what I mean? You've got you over there. You've got Martinelli. You've got Saka. You've got all these oh, players that are, like, yeah. silk on the ball. <laughs> Pai, Odegaard, like, yeah. Jesus. Like, yeah. you, you, like, you can't be losing the ball I now, know, you know? I know, I know. And... Yeah, like you said, all them names, it's just, yeah, it's a techie team, isn't it? It is, it is. It <laughs> In is. every position as well, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, nah, everyone's excited and the fans should be as well, man. And 
I also want to ask you, when you're looking at the documentary, right, what is the proudest moment that you see in it? Um, I think it's going to have to be the North London derby. Mm -hmm. Just because, you know, as a kid, you dream of being involved in a game like that. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think during COVID, I played against them, but obviously the fans weren't there, my family weren't there. So mm -hmm. I'm just excited to see the game and the highlights and the fan reactions and stuff. So. September the 26th, my birthday <laughs> that was, by the way, on a Sunday. Yeah. I went to my dad. I, I went to the game with my dad for the oh, first yeah, time, man. by the way. So that was a memorable game for yeah, me as well. The boys turned season, up. Man. You know what I mean? But listen, Emil, I look forward to seeing you in Croydon sure. again, for sure. <laughs> Brother, have a Bro, good one, good yeah? Good to see you, man. And yeah, bless up, man. Take Joel Bayer, Emil Smith-Rowe, yeah. five, signing out. Peace.